What's going on guys? Here doing a review on the air scoops that I made for my 335i. I've done some data logging. I've done some audio recording of the intake and the exhaust. <clears throat> and I want to give my opinion on whether or not I think that these are something that you should purchase from a vendor for 55 to $120, you know. Um, the cheaper ones I've seen on eBay and whatnot, the design of them is kind of flat on the bottom and almost a 90 degree bend straight up. Uh, and then there's some, you know, more expensive ones that are, you know, it's still flat, maybe like a 45 degree bin, um, like the AFEs. And I don't really think that's a great design. And I'm no engineer. I don't really know, honestly. But to me, it seems like the air would just be getting jammed in that area, kind of like a traffic jam. And then it would get sucked up through the intake. But it's not really like a smooth flow. I thought that the round would be a lot smoother transition straight into the intake, allowing the air to, uh, to, to freely flow. So I chose to go with this design, a round design. Okay, so I added two little tabs on there. This one here is where it mounts in the factory location. So this is the passenger side uh, <clears throat> scoop. And then this right here mounts to where your hood bracket is. So this one I added on, there's no, it's not a factory location. That's why I self tapped this one in, you know, bolting it in would have been nicer, but getting a nut on the opposite side would have been a little difficult for me. So I opted to go with self tapper, a little easier. Um, this one here, you could definitely put a, a nut and a bolt on, no big deal. So I really don't know if, what design is best. I know what I did and I know the results that I got. So I did some data logging and I took some sound clips and I'm gonna show you guys this footage and let you decide for yourself if you hear any differences or see any differences. And then I'm gonna show you the data logs of the before and after and what's going on with that. <clears throat> All right, so let's get to it. There was basically no change in my data. The intake air temp and the mass airflow grams per second remained the same. I thought that one of these would have changed, but basically no difference at all. So my first audio was of the intake and that was without the scoops. Then I went to the exhaust. Love the burble. It always sounds good no matter what. That is a stock exhaust, so you guys know, uh, with catless downpipes but the cat back, all stock. Then the third, the third clip is with the scoops in. I really didn't notice any difference in the noise at all. You know, it didn't sound better, it didn't sound worse. And I didn't see any performance gains. I didn't feel any power. Um, it obviously wasn't on a dyno, those were road runs. Uh, if we put it on a dyno, it's possible that it builds a little more power, you know, like a couple horsepower maybe or it could even take away a couple of horsepower, I'm not exactly sure. And 
for the most part, it's it's just something that I don't see being a good investment. It's not worth the money at all. If it's if you got some stuff laying around, you want a nice little project, do do it yourself thing, you know, you want to get creative, have a little fun, I say go for it. It's cool. Um, but other than that, you're just and nobody's gonna even notice it's on there visually, you know. I mean, a mechanic might see it while he's working on your car, you know, at a shop, but really, it's, there's not a whole lot of benefit to those things at all. I don't see you spending the money, not not one bit. So that's my opinion, guys. Um, if you have your own opinions, you know, comment down below. Let me know what you think, what you have done to your car, you know. Let's talk about that a little bit. Till next time.